Well, here it is. Home sweet home, we're back again. Not falling for that this time. I know that stupid thing's shining back there. We made it. I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Look at the look in her eyes. She's going to betray the crap out of us. Whoa, I should just push her right now. This is incredible. Wowzers. Dude, by the way, if you were going to be an emo badass, you should have stopped saying wowzers. Uh, so you've been here before, right, Nino Marquis? Uh, yep, with my friends. Um, it was pretty crazy, actually. Like, legit, not joking. Like, seriously, it was absolutely insane. Friends, huh? Miraidon comes out. Yep. Also, she called it Agias. I need to check if that's the Japanese name for Miraidon because I don't... Until this very day, till this very day, I have no idea why Amorous called this thing Agias. Eek, you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. Erm, um, what you madan? So you came here with Nino Marquis back then, too. Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by this specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. Uh, deeper down than the Zero Lab? Where all the crazy crap happened? Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to someplace even deeper. Wait. Hold on, doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could go? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Area Negative One. Uh, I'm putting money on it right now, man. They're going to call it Negative Area. Well, either way, we should start by making down for the Zero Lab. You take the lead, Nita Marquis. All right, so are we going to do this the same way, head to the Zero Lab? No, I think we're just, yeah, we're, we're not going to do this storyline-based like we did last time. The, we're, this one's going to be just straight up like... There's only two reasons you're going to see a cut. Either the cut goes to a shiny that I discover while I'm on my way down there, or the cut goes to Zero Lab. See you later. And... Boom! There we are. Into the cutscene. Welcome to the Zero Lab. This is where I pretty much almost got murdered. Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the Crystal Pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it. The structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero? Uh, I thought so. I mean, well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach a long time ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. Um, it was, it was a time machine. It was there to kill me. I was in there. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So, you're saying that we should head inside the Zero lab? Gates closed, though. Yeah, I shut it on my way out. Huh? Oh, you're right. What do we do now? Uh, you've been here before, right? We used the panel. Anybody could figure that out. Even the Pokemon figured that out, Carmine. Wowzers. This feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. Oh, uh, dude, don't let your nerdy side out. You're supposed to be emo, remember? What? I didn't say anything. Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate? Yeah, let me just go press the button. The last time I did that, I almost got some people killed. I'm excited. Pressing buttons is my speciality. Open the gate. Yeah, there's a broken robot. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance locked. Well, looks like we're breaking in. What's the matter? Something wrong with it? Yeah, I broke, uh, I broke the, the Professor Turo bot. It opened before, though, right? Is there some kind of extra step we're missing? Um, well, yeah, the professor was in the lab, and there were four locks up there, and I see. So last time, you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Beep boop. Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. Huh? It's talking. Insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Uh, relax. It's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. 
TM machine. It's just TM. That okay. Indigo disc. What could it mean by that? Uh, yeah, I've got the. Uh, I've got. I've got no idea actually. I was told. Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did she? You think that's it? You're supposed to be on the know how, or in the know, like not in the know rather. Uh, you're uh, all you are is like need to know basis. Oh, how fun! Go on, Nita Marquis, do it. You have my permission. Old school CD player drawer. Love it. In you go, disc. Just like the old school days. <laughs> Indigo disc confirmed. Zero lab elevator redirected to area zero under depths. Opening door in four frames per second. Complete. Look at that. It opened. Let's head in. Can I have my disc back or is that thing just gone? And that thing is just gone. All right, well let's uh, let's go find out what's in there. Usually it gives me a chance to. Actually, you know what? I need a chance. I need. Just give me one sec. All right, you noticed nothing. I had to step away for just a sec. All right, so here's the lab. Haven't been here in a while, man. Everything went down in here. You don't think Turo is still? No, because this is DLC. It's got to be the same for both games. There's no way Turo is still down here. It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk. Well, don't you don't point out that you're breaking out of the funk because now he goes, Oh, uh, <clears throat> shut it. I forgot. Where's Miss Briar anyway? She's been busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Well, they, I mean, they're dead, so, yeah, you can look at whatever you want. Don't tell Arvin, though. Huh, you're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Got a couple of integrals over there without integral symbols. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe it can take us down further. You want to go down, right? Uh... Down, you say? Uh-oh. She's she's definitely, dude, she's going to try and kill us. Oh, my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned? Sure did. Went there with a the robot. How exciting. Well, we've got no time to waste. Let's go down. Something's going to happen down there, dude. I should probably put Pokemon on my team, shouldn't I? I only have two Pokemon. I never healed. It would totally not just throw me into the fire. Also, if none of this tech works, like if the elevator gets stuck, who do we call? We just die. Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going down further and further, or further and further down. That's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Motion sickness? Hey, everyone. That panel we used to unlock the gate, didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah, something about the elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there is only one elevator inside at Zero Lab, so the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So, where exactly is this thing taking us? <laughs> where indeed? She's going to kill all of us. You can't just kill children. That's, that's very rude, by the way. Also, I have legendaries, and I'll pull, I've got Darkrai in my box if I need him. I will kill you. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Well, you found a bunch more of uh, uh, the Terra, Terra gems. So, what? Are we under Area Zero or something? You, we're in a hole. Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than we were last. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than, it, than its previous destination? Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in, so he built a time machine up there, and then there was a hole under it. I don't think anything's going to surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Homunculus! Homunculus! Hey! What's all this stuff? Oh! What are desks doing down here? Oh my! Oh my, this is... This is a report written by the esteemed Professor Turo. May he rest in peace. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero. 
and there slumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this the stellar type for now. Could Terrapagos' influence be at play? Can he switch his type? Oh, dude, imagine that you can actually switch your type. I mean, the shell of Terrapagos had all 18 types on it. But imagine that <laughs> you could, like, Terrapagos can do what uh, Archaeus can do and just switch types on the fly. Terrapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero, and it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? And what about the stellar type? Brilliant. Absolutely marvelous to think there was so much that Huth didn't write about. Yeah, he kind of got killed before he could finish it. These documents are a, a veritable treasure trove. And we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she got so excited in a bizarre place like this. Is she related to Heath? The legendary Pokemon Terra Pagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero? Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. Oh no, kids. It's time to kill you so that you can't tell anybody. I still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. I... If I'm going to fight a legendary, it would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. I'm guessing what's going to have to happen here, then, is that I am going to have a raid battle with these guys. So I'm going to need to... Yeah, all, uh, yeah, I battled Briar, didn't I? No, I don't think I've ever battled her. But still, whatever she's got, we're all going to raid battle this. So I'm going to have to actually switch my team here. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. All right, I am going to indeed switch my team. Give me a sec. Man, it sure was hard to breathe down here. Guess that's because we're so far down. Come on, let's hurry up. And she's got... I'm going to read every single one of these documents when we return. Uh, all right, well, those things were written hundreds of years ago, weren't they? To be fair, Pokemon's concept of time is absolutely ridiculous. It said somewhere, like, it's it's 100,000 years in the future or something, or maybe not 100,000, but it's thousands of years in the future. That's where these Pokemon came from. And the other game, it's thousands in the past. Makes no sense. It's a huge leap. All right, so there's Terrapagos. He's just a rock. What is this? It's a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked the path. Yeah, we're not going any further with this in the way. Hey, how about Wachamadon? That Pokemon you ride on. Couldn't it smash it? Uh, sure, me ride on, me ride on smash. Hold on, hold on, please hold on. Yeah, it might be a Pokemon. This is quite likely the manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. It'll incinerate us, we'll die, and Kieran will be happy because he's not alive anymore. Because he doesn't have to admit, or, uh, acknowledge his failures. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, we Terra battle a Glamora. <laughs> there are Pokemon all the way down here? And what's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with a strange kind of energy. Hey, get back. You know we're, er, you know you're no good in a battle. Oh, well, I guess that's that then. Kiki, no, Nita Marquis, you should handle this. Yeah, let, let him handle it, man. He killed half my team, so or most of it. And yeah, I accidentally died with one of them. Mora. It's a Glimora, and it's going to be a stellar type, isn't it? All right, so did we finally get a new type? Albeit a, a, a type that is going to occur... Yep, all right, here it goes. It's going to be a new type. Check it out. I have always wanted a neutral type. I've always said we should have a neutral type that it has no weaknesses and is not super effective against anything. What on earth is that energy? It, it couldn't be. I really hope this is really cool if this thing is uh, also I might die. So he's got all the types up there. Let's, uh, let's protect because Enigma, you're not even... You, I shouldn't have led with Enigma. Probably going to die now. Acid armor. Oh, he's set up on me. This sucks. I mean, well, yeah. Oh, this really sucks. Just use Psychic. Let's see what happens. He's just going to spam Acid armor. Maybe he won't even attack. Maybe I'll get lucky. Check it out. Listening to the uh, Area Zero theme. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll have to. I, you'd be dead already if uh, you broke your type. I didn't kill you. You have... Oh, uh, for a sec, I was like, wait a minute. How did I lose five protects already? Um, yeah, go with Psychic. Yeah, you're not even attacking. Okay, we're good. 
I was going to say, I shouldn't lead off with a Runoclus. At least not this Runoclus. It's not in a position to be doing damage. It's a support. Glamora fainted. I was going to say, should I have tried to catch that? I wonder if that was a mistake. Good work, Nino Marquis. Well, there goes your, your rock. Whoa, it disappeared. Did knocking out that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? Just like in the report we found earlier, what we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type. That means that it must have had the stellar type. So what's that all mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? It was a Glamora. He's like, you fool. I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor's notes said the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. The Glamora you just fought off doesn't fully fit that description, so I think it's a Pokemon the, uh, the professor called Terpagos. Well, the only way to know if it was the hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Yeah, this is entirely and not... There's no way this would be sanctioned. Like, this is so dangerous. But uh, Stellar Terra Shard, look at that. All right, so I need to switch some Pokemon here really quickly. Let's uh, let's pop right on out front. Glimet Crystal. Uh, whoa. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Can I jump down there? I can? All right, so what happens when I'm down here? Out of curiosity. What if I jump down on this guy? This thing looks pretty crazy. You die. For a sec, I was like, I thought it went into a cutscene, and I was like, did I trigger a cutscene? There's no way. So check this out, dude. Finally, first off, some exploration. Wow. So we've got Pokemon down here after all. Here's a Glamette. There was a Carbunk. Um, grab this guy and go. Yeah, dude, this is... Uh, oh, I got Hydro Pump. It feels good having a dead Seedra. <laughs> If it was a Kingdra, it might not be dead, but you guys just left me behind. That's fine. Uh, no worries. I got a full restore anyways. You guys can... Uh, is that a Glamora? What's up there? What uh, Oh, wait. What is that? Hold on. I got to check that out. Grab the Stardust really quickly because I'm always broke. That is a... What is that? Oh, it's a Noivern. I was like, what the heck is that? It, I don't know what I thought it looked like, but Noivern is not what I thought it looked like. So they definitely expected us to just kind of climb on stuff. Flare Blitz, sweet. Gotta wonder what's over here before I end up going over there. There's a whole lot of nothing. Game developers, if you didn't put anything over here, I'm going to be so disappointed. There you go. I was going to say, if you put nothing over here, that makes me very sad. This is a perfect spot to put stuff. It's like when there's staircases and you can go under the staircases in games, but then there's nothing under there for you to find. All right, well, it seems we found another one of those crystal flowers. Could the terrestrial energy that's saturating the air be condensed into crystal form? I bet the path will open if we defeat another one. What are you waiting for? Uh, well, I guess I... So, I wish I still had a dragon, but since I don't, uh, let's go... Who's going to actually... Oh, you guys are still low level. Hang on. All right, I probably should mention, too, I'm using Sev Viper on the team. I actually had to switch the Sev Viper, the one that was on the recording I didn't check during the recording, and I messed up. That Sev Viper actually was not caught in the central plaza, so I had to catch another one at the end of the last episode. I was going to just forfeit the encounter, but I said, you know what, I already caught it before I thought about forfeiting the encounter. All right, so here we go. Dude, I love this. If this is what this truly is, I have not seen anybody talking about this. But if this is a neutral 19th type, I'm really happy about that. In fact, if Terra Pagos is a stellar type, like naturally, it, it's not uh, interesting. You still have weaknesses. Um, if, if that stellar type, you're not going to attack either, huh? Um, if that stellar type is actually its base type, not its Terra Pagos, or Terra Pagos is like type type, then uh, I'm very impressed because if it's actually base type, can I... Can I throw a Pokeball? No, I can't. Okay. I was just double checking. So, yep, Dragon Rush again. Uses Roost. I was going to say, so they're not attacking, which is kind of cool. At least I get a freebie.
But yeah, if Terra Pagos actually has a base type that is stellar, it's the first Pokemon with a new type and it's neutral, that's awesome. Obviously there, though, you saw that he still had a weakness to Dragon, so. All right. Well, you guys are, uh, you're not helping at all, are you? Good job, Nito Marquis. The crystal thing is gone now. Come on down. Okay, I can do that. Let's go. <laughs> all right, onwards we go. I don't know what we're doing, but I know I'm interested anyways. That Pokemon's called Muradon, right? Boy, it can really jump. We're on a roll. Let's keep moving. Let's go. Just enjoying a subtle, relaxing adventure after all the crazy battles. And I, I, you know what? I kind of enjoy that, actually. You know what? Uh, you can't ride Muradon in here? Okay. I thought I could the last time, but no problems. All right. Who we got this time? Oh, for a second, I thought that was a Swablu. I'm like, that's very random. You would think that there's only a, a few Pokemon here. All right, let's see what you say. Watch your footing. If you slip and fall into the abyss, we won't be able to help you. Yeah, you would think that you would bring somebody a little more equipped to this for this. Uh, man, this place has more twists and turns than Oni Mountain. I like that he mentioned Oni Mountain. Uh, another one? If those lousy rock think they can stop me, they got another thing coming. Now, where's my sparkly critter? So... That said, um, so basically what Kieran said, if you're curious, I can't ride me right on. Kieran says when you use Ogre Pond against him, I read the dialogue. I didn't see him say it. I'll look it up later. But uh, I was going to do it, but then I was like, no, I don't want to know what his opening move is. Um, he basically just says, like, how dare you bring that ogre out now of all times? So he he's very salty about Ogre Pond. Um, I wish, you know what, I would have kept Ogre Pond on the team for that one battle against Kieran if and only if he was still alive from the Nuzlocke, but I let him die against Carmine or Kieran or whoever I, yeah, it was Carmine. So I let, uh, Ogre Pond perish against her. So because of that, um, that's why I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm not going to use him. I thought about making an exception, but that's, uh, I don't know. That's not in the spirit of the Nuzlocke. To make an exception just for storyline Pokemon. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. I guess I, I could have. But uh, still, it seemed like it was a good idea. I was like, oh, yeah. I'd love to use Ogre Pond against Kieran. That would be fun. But uh, that said, Ogre Pond's probably a little on the OP side with all those masks to change. What is this? Whoa. We got a lot of crystals going on here, dude. Those, uh, those places that love crystals and sell a lot of crystals would be in love with this place. All right, so this feels like back in the start. Remember the very base Nuzlocke. If you haven't watched my base Nuzlocke, I encourage you to because I'm great and I edited it awesome, so I'm amazing. But the real reason is is that I just really enjoyed going around the area, exploring things in an open-world environment, and I got a little out of hand with the exploration, which was great because I don't want Nuzlocke to only focus solely on the aspect of it is a Nuzlocke, you know? Uh, oh, you're not, uh, you're not Tyranitar. You're, uh, you're whatever the heck your name is. So, wait a minute. If the time machine is above, how did you get down here? Iron treads, right? No, not iron treads. You're iron. Come on, come on. I can, I can remember. How are you terastalizing into a type that doesn't exist? You are the stellar type and you are also a paradox Pokemon. So that's kind of an interesting little phenomenon here. I can't remember your name. Iron Thorns. I, I forgot the names here. I right, drop an earthquake on this fool. Takes you down, breaks your. Yep, I was gonna say it's gonna break you instantly. Stellar type is. Uh, I'm confused what it is. Also, I'm I'm confused because you never attacked. You just got outsped and died. Um, stellar type is kind of weird because I'm confused on what it actually does. I'm either thinking that you can switch between types freely or you can you're neutral and since you're not neutral which i think there should be a neutral type then i have no idea imagine that that oh the path opened up well, thanks yeah i appreciate that uh i wonder if those pokemon are static encounters or if they could have actually been shiny and they'd be shiny lock or not shiny lock just an uncatchable shiny that'd be funny um, no, uh, so what I was saying, though, is I thought normal type, honestly, should be neutral to everything. And for that matter, should be uh, not super effective against anything. 
because I mean it's neutral or it's a it's normal type. Normal type being that uh, you would think it's a neutral, but obviously that was way back when the game was first invented. If they came out with normal type now, I can't help but think they would be neutral. Sorry, we have a uh, we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it. Ah, you should have seen my last group. No, wait, my last group helped me. Now then, it appears the terrestrial energy around us is growing more dense the further we go down. Come on, we've got no time to lose. Are you even human? I'm wondering if it's affecting you and it turns out you're not human. Maybe you were Archaeus the entire time and you've been masquerading as a human to follow us through and just observe us and have fun. Maybe you're just a god that's bored so you came down to check things out and you made a bunch of drama just to give us something to do. What is that? Interesting. Okay, so there's music going here, but I have to be a little careful about it because if it's voiced in any way, I got to make sure that I cut this out. So if you don't hear anything on the recording, I'm going to listen to this recording back and I'll either cut through and you won't see any of this and, uh, and then that's that or I will silence it so that there's no chance that that music is a copyright music track by a, uh, you know, a group. It's kind of like uh, that dude that did the credits song. And I was like, oh, well, thanks. Now I have to mute this. Um, just because they don't throw a fuss about their game music. They, they could. If they wanted to, they could. But they don't. Uh, where's Carmine? Marvelous. The terrestrial energy here is positively overflowing. Miss Briar can be so reckless sometimes. I feel like I always have to keep an eye on her. I feel that, well, I know she's going to betray us. Or at least I'm confident she's going to betray us. The question is what's going to happen when she does betray us. You, hand, uh, you handle looking around in the water. I don't want to get my clothes wet. Okay, well, since you were separated from the group, I thought maybe you were going to throw me a bone and help, but nope. These revives are great for something. I, I'm doing a challenge where I can't freaking use them, but I appreciate the money. I get to sell them for lots of money, and uh, I've stocked up on a lot of potions, but I don't even know why I did that because, honestly, those potions are useless. Um, I've got so many of them, and I only allow myself three healing items in those extreme battles. So what's the point in having a million potions, you know? I even was trying to save, like, I was trying to save money by going with max potions instead of full restores. I don't know why I did that. I have, like, 30 full restores. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Going to, yep, I was going to say that. I, I dig the tree, though. I'm definitely seeing a, an important tree there, especially because it seems like it's a crystal tree. And that tree has roots. Like, this is something that she should see because she would enjoy it. All right. Well, it just so happens I'm dropping earthquakes. So, oh, uh, wow. You are extremely defensive. And you used earthquake as well. My question being why? That's an interesting move. But, I mean, you're so defensive. Oh, that's weird. Look, I didn't even notice that. You can actually see Terrapagos on the, on the top. That's the symbol, the crystal. All right, let's drop some more earthquakes. Down you go. You're the first one to actually attack me, by the way. I don't know if Iron Thorns would have attacked me simply because it didn't get the chance to. It's going to be over the water. You're going to hear the voice, and it's going to sound like this. I wonder how much further we've got. I'm here for it, though. Okay, Kiki, your turn to call Nito over. He's going to leave me. Maybe he'd rather have you do it. Quit your blabbering. Just do it. Yeah, they're back to Teal Mask. All right, here it goes. Hey, the path opened up. We can keep going. Sweet. Well, give me just one sec. I'll be right back. All right, I decided to spill a couple of drops of my coffee, so now that that's taken care of, onwards we go. You know, they don't even have to shout my name and let me know. I'm pretty sure, like, it's been the same outcome every single time. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to come back and find you guys anyway. Well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Nita Marquis? No, not really, other than this fist in your face. Just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on him is all. Well, I mean, I, I have the Pokemon. I, you can ride on your Pokemon. We should keep going. You have you have a Dragonite. You can fly on Dragonite, dude. He's so stubborn. He's not stubborn. I mean, he's got a Dragonite. He's dumb is what he is. 
You two are simply, I, I shouldn't call the kid dumb. Uh, just so you know, we're all, uh, we were also fending off wild Pokemon while you were away, I'm sure. So me and my team are just about spent. Sinistra's all I've got left, so if something happens, you better save me. Really? Oh, I thought she was screwing with us. Well, if she's only got Sinistra, then you know what that means. We're getting into a raid battle very soon. Was there a, a trend that I missed? Let's see. Iron Treads. My Terra Orb. I think it's reacting to something. You're right. Mine is, too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. Terrestrial energy. It seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Ooh, I can't wait for a second. The truth behind the Violet book is so close now. Not you, too. Those two sometimes, I swear. Well, I guess we have no choice. Why did you stay back? We should head in, too. No rushing. At least we can show some composure. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm rushing in. I'm happy to run in. In this here blind Nuzlocke, which is possibly done. I really, I, I don't know if it's done or not, honestly. I have no idea because this could be a storyline battle that doesn't involve death. I mean, if this is a, a raid battle, then I, it's just going to be full screen. If you see the overlay, that means I found out the Nuzlocke's not over. What is this place? The vibes here are on a totally different level. The hidden treasure, where is it? He's trying to get it before me because Ogre Pond, you know, I kind of scooped that one up. There, Kieran, up ahead, there's something among those pillars. You guys could, you know, maybe not be greedy grave robbers. Well, you found it. Now what? This stone's the hidden treasure? Give me a moment. I just need to check something. If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero, I can finally beat Nido Marquis. Uh, you know, maybe you could actually have a decent strategy instead. I mean, you threw an Incineroar out while you had Drizzle going. I have to believe you just suck at battling. Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis. Nido Marquis has everything I've ever wanted. He's got a strong Pokemon. He can go anywhere he wants. He can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose him over me. Oh, yeah, this guy has been built up pretty bad, hasn't he? But Kiki, you did your best, too. Even you, sis. You were being all nasty towards him at first, but then, boom, you were like best friends in no time. Well, I've got nothing. I worked so hard, and for what? I still lost in the end. Yeah, welcome to the club, buddy. That's usually how life goes. This, this is all I have left now. Found it. The crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Kieran. Pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden er treasure of Area Zero. This is the villain right here. You know, if that's that's a body part, you're what do you, you that could have been on his head. You freaking broke what was on his head. There's no doubting it. The crystal must be Terrapagos. Well, to be fair, he earned this one. But I paid for the DLC, so of course I get to have one. You know what? They should, uh, there's two forms of Terrapagos. There's a first form, so that little tiny form of it. Yeah, that, he should have that. I should just get another one. Um, what is that thing called? I, I, I remember its name, and then I don't remember its name. Oh, no, don't do this. Kieran's gonna kill me. No. You're mine! Through a Master Ball. Well, it's his now. There you go. He caught himself a... What is the thing called? I don't remember its name. <laughs> that was terrible. Tagos? You caught it, right? Finally. Very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were prepared for this. Yeah, how do kids just have Master Balls just hanging around? Now I can truly, or now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want. But there's no time like the present. Think you could give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right now? You blew your Master Ball on the first Pokemon that you found. You heard her, Nido Marquis. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos... You just met him. At least talk to it. Get ready so we can start. 
Um, there's the what? I don't actually have to get ready, right? I just, just, you know. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. Let's talk to everybody. Are you sure it's safe to battle with a Pokemon we barely know anything about? Ooh, I can hardly contain myself. I simply must see Terra Pegos' power. I want to look around before I do anything. Is there nothing else here? I was going to say, he caught the baby version of it. So in this particular case, I have to believe that I'm going to find the actual Terra Pegos and he's going to be pissed that he blew his Master Ball on something that's like a dime a dozen. Do I even need to prepare for this? I don't I don't think there is. I mean, you're just going to use Terra Pegos. It's going to be like level 15. Yeah. All right. Get in position. Uh, it's going to be like level 15, dude. Why did you do this? This is crazy. I hope you've braced yourself. This time I'll definitely beat you. Uh, no, no, you won't. You're going to throw a Pokemon out that has no battling experience. It hasn't been awakened in like a thousand years. And it's probably sent out Terra Pagos. I thought that was the pre-evolution. So what? It it terrestrializes into the full form? Go, Terra Pagos. Show Nita Marquis what you're made of. Let me guess. He's like super... Uh-oh. Terra Pagos the Indigo Disc? Ooh. So, okay. They gave Kieran the Legendary. I'm very happy that they did this. So you don't have a type then. Which means if I terastalize, I, I, I guess I just attack, man. Um, do I want to? I mean, you are a ground type. If I terastalize with you now, nah, let's just earthquake him. So this is the hidden treasure's true form. With this, I can win for sure. You caught a raid Pokemon. I will give you that. You're the first person to, ooh. Zen Headbutt. Terra Shell. Uh, it's distorting type mashups. Wait, <laughs> is it? <cha> <laughs> Is it? I was gonna say, is it? Is it changing to where I'm not using stab earthquakes, or is, what? What's going on here? What is this? Ooh, ow! It just doesn't take uh, super effective hits. Is that what's going on? Let's use earthquake. I'm trying to decide if I'm still using stab earthquakes or not. All right, so uh, he's a trainer. He's an elite trainer. That means that I do get healing items, which means I I'm in accordance to the Nuzlocke rules. I'm using my first healing item. Technically, I am not battling a raid Pokemon because if I was battling a raid Pokemon, I only get one healing item. Also, I think his Pokemon only has uh, one move and it has no... There's no... Uh, uh, why did you outspeed me? Are we speed tying? That's really weird. Oh, wait, no. I take it back. You, you were outspeeding me the whole time. My bad. I am a fool. All right, so here comes another. Wow, you finally got that flinch, did you? All right, so I guess, um, I mean, in accordance to, let, let's, uh, no, you know what? Yeah, let's let's heal up second item. I don't know why I used a full restore on that one. I could have just used a max potion. I'm not really sure. So here's the second healing item. And Kieran with the legendary new Pokemon. I mean, props to you, I guess. Uh Let's go Earthquake. I figure, so that thing's, uh, I don't know what that first thing was where it didn't take, it, it basically turned it into a non-effective or it was a half damage. I don't know if he took my stab away or if he just made incoming attacks all weak against him. I don't know what this thing does. Zen Headbutt, here we go. All right, drop a little, no, that's fine. You just flinch. You just keep on flinching. I should have, so... Anybody else notice he had other moves? I mean, I got a little relaxed there. I was like, oh, okay. He's just going to spam the same move. Uh, if this is, I still have not determined if this is a Nuzlocke. But if it is, that was a death. <laughs> he changed it up on me. I'll give him that. He was using Zen Headbutt, and I guess he ran out of PP for it. So here's an Earthquake. Oh, you can use Water Pulse. I was going to say, I'm just going to use my Focus Dash right off the get-go. Um, so I probably should switch. Or do I just let Baron die? No, because Baron, you're going to get outsped. So you literally would be a sacrifice. Well, that's so unfortunate. Water Pulse getting the Confuse. Kills himself. Yeah, you know what's going to happen. He's going to punch himself. He used Earthquake. Okay, good for you. 
Interesting. All right. So he's switching into what's going on. Terra Pagos' power should be far greater than this. Could it be we're missing something? No, he's not in his turtle form. He's a fish. All right. Uh, well, I guess let's switch to Enigma. And we'll eat up the water pulse. And then I have one more healing item. So it's really weird. I, I can't tell if this is storyline. If this isn't Nuzlocke, I don't care. But... I, if there's still like a full team of Kirin 6 waiting for me, then I'm good with this. Um, you definitely switching it up, that was, that was definitely something I was not prepared for. Earth power, okay. Maybe I should use Reflect. Alright, let's, uh, let's throw up a Reflect. Throw up a Reflect and then I'll go ahead and start healing. Oh, well, actually I should say it's my final healing item, so start healing. It's actually finish. I'll finish healing. So, all right, do you switch back to Water Pulse, or do you keep up the Earth Power? All right, here's the last healing item. I mean, it's me versus... It says Terra Pagos the Indigo Disc, but it's under Kieran's command. Therefore, I'm considering this a trainer battle. So, in Nuzlocke fashion, if this is a Nuzlocke... I mean, I guess I'm keeping the overlay up, because it is a Nuzlocke. Plus, I'm imagining there's a bunch of Terra Pagos out here, not just one. Uh, here's a Eat the Psychic. I was going to say that doesn't take it down, but this one does. So one more Earth Power. Through the Reflect. You still hit harder than I thought you would through that Reflect. But that's all right. Down you go. All right. So, yeah, she's definitely hinting that this thing's about to go Psycho. Another form. New form. Uh-oh. Where's the turtle? Why? I thought if I just had Terra Pagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it would make me stronger. I thought it'd let me beat Nito Marquis. Nope, bro. This thing's uh, this been this thing's been asleep for a while. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Its terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks very different from the illustration in the Violet Book. So, Terra Pagos isn't the hidden area uh, treasure of Area Zero. No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Why does nobody care about this poor Pokemon? Of course, Terra Pagos is made of terrestrial energy. Kieran, you must ter terrestrialize it. If my hunch is correct, Terra Pagos will resonate with energy from your Terra Orb. It's going to go psycho and try to kill us all. And the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. Got it. So are we still battling? Is this considered... Are we still in the battle? Well, now you've done it. I knew it. The Violet Book was right. Well, I mean, he's got a Master Ball. Terra Pagos isn't in its fully awakened form. This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. I was going to say, at least don't battle me. Just be like, all right, we're cool. Let's admire it. Let's love it. Let's show it some uh, some kindness. Yeah, that's your Pokemon, man. Be happy. He's like, yo, kid, I got your back. Oh, don't tell me. Uh, things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Terrapagos to its ball. Okay, watch. Come back, Terrapagos. Ooh, that's awesome. Oh, what? Huh? It won't go back inside. Why? Well, I mean, its Pokeball is broken now. He's going psycho, so this is on you. Good job, Kieran. Do you know how pissed Kieran's going to be if I snatch up a legendary that he literally caught in a Master Ball? Like, extreme level hacks there. I did not get a chance. Let's see. Its energy output is going haywire. We're all in serious danger. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Terra Pagos. Come on, Kiki. You need to do something, too. We've got to get Terra Pagos under control. This wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. You throw your Dragonite out, man. All right. So energy has been gathering around you for a while, actually. But all right. Hospitality. Thank you. I could, I could use that. All right. So. Huh. Let's uh, let's go protect because I don't know what this thing has and I want to see what it's gonna do. Dig the music, I like it. Rage powder, nice. 
the center of attention. Terra Starstorm. Oh, you attacked me anyways. Okay. You attacked everybody? You attacked everybody. Was that? That's weird. The switch just vibrated when it, when it did that. All right, so I'm going to have to definitely switch out here. So let's go. Was that a special attack or a physical attack? I don't know. Well, since this is officially a battle with a Pokemon, I will have one healing item. So I'm going to go ahead and heal myself up. Because I don't want to switch out. I want to actually try and drop a light screen on this. But I don't know. Terra Star Storm is that physical? Is that special? Or knowing my luck, it's it's both. It depends which one hits harder. They love to do that with their new moves. All right. So now we have uh, Life Dew. Okay. Hey, check it out. Time to set up. So if that was... I feel like that's a special attack. I, I really feel like that is a special. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go light screen. You know, maybe 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 you could take a shot at it. I'm just saying, N not insinuating anything. Just Terra Star Storm. Okay, so all you had was Sinistra, right? So it's just me now, me against a Terra Pokemon. Yeah. So Sinistra is done. So now the question is, does she have anything? She said that was all she had. So, um, oh no, my Sinistra's knocked out. This isn't good. It's just too strong. You have no other Pokemon, right? Yeah, you're done. So it's just the solo show from Nido Marquis now. So, light screen, and then uh, let's go reflect and see which one actually... He has Zen Head, but still. <laughs> that's hilarious. He was using the Star Storm until... Uh, oh, I was going to say, that's not going to be very effective. That is something I was thinking in my mind, but uh, especially with the reflect now. Yeah, this is uh, this is good. Go for Psychic. I can't Terra. Look at that. Terra Star Storm. Okay, here you go. Did the light screen work? Did it help a little bit? It absolutely did not help at all. But at least I'm set up. I have uh, light screen. I have, uh, let's go, who do we want to go with? Hmm. Do we bring the shiny out? I feel, you know, let's let's go to Viper and just see. I feel like I don't have to take this thing out myself. I feel like there's help coming. So let's go Sludge Bomb. Earth power. Shouldn't kill me in one shot. Super effective through a reflect. Kills in a single shot. Maybe I have uh, underestimated this thing a little bit. All right. So since you've got earth power, this is definitely not good. I can't terastalize. So the shiny comes out. The question is, I still don't know if this battle actually counts. Close combat? No. You know, I actually use ice hammer. Zen headbutt. Okay. Super effective butt through reflect. There we go. Bruh. Bruh. There's no way that's part of it. It's using barrier to reduce damage. In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. You didn't let me. Your light screen wore off. Oh, boy. Uh, your terror orb, uh, you need one more attack. Oh, that's right. It's a... Oh, my God. Well, it outspeeds me, so I'm going to die. Terra Star Storm. Dude. All right, so we've got ourselves a little problem here. Team's Reflect wore off. Uh, you definitely outspeed Baron. There's no way you don't outspeed Baron. I'm going to try, but no, because you, you totally outspeed me. I don't even know why. Baron's out there as a sacrifice. This is not good. Water Pulse. Dude, I can't take this thing. Kieran, you better. You, you got to help, man. This thing is uh There's no way this is part of the Nuzlocke challenge. This thing is a, a super boss. And, like, literally, I have no idea how I'm supposed to... I should have I come in here with a better team, I guess. Uh, let's go Psycho Cut. Terra Star Storm? I don't even think I'm going to live it. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm, I mean, am I supposed to... I'm not... Uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm still... You know what? I'm not sure that this is even Nuzlocke. I haven't decided. Now's your chance. Use your Terrastalized Pokemon to strike back. Yeah, this is uh this ain't gonna work, man. He's gonna outspeed me. I had to take this thing down solo? There's no way. There's absolutely no way. I 
I if the I'm not really sure. I feel like this isn't the Nuzlocke anymore because the the challenge of the Nuzlocke isn't like gimmicky terrestrialized boss Pokemon that I'm I can't even outspeed, you know? So I feel like this isn't part of the Nuzlocke. Uh, plus, I don't even know what type that is, but it was super effective, so obviously it took me out as a psychic type. So now I gotta figure out, I gotta reverse engineer what you're even using. Uh, I'll be right back. You have no more Pokemon that can fight. You were overwhelmed by your defeat. Well, I would say from that battle, it is evident that this is a situation of a super battle. Shades of Ultra Necrozma on this one, actually. I very much feel a reminiscence of that. Uh, the only difference is Terrapagos does not look threatening in any way. But then it was, it was brutal. It was pretty brutal. So it looks like if I'm going to continue the Nuzlocke challenge in the form of battling with, you know, with the Pokemon I have, then I'm going to have to go to the PC. I'm going to have to scavenge up what I've got and look at strategies. It might not happen. The next recording of Terrapagos, that might have to be a battle that is not Nuzlocke. It might have to use Pokemon that are not. The question would be, if I do that, am I failing the Nuzlocke? Am I forfeiting the Nuzlocke? I mean, I beat the champion already, so I kind of put the flag in the, in the holster and said, hey, we're done. We're good. This is over. It's, everything's been said. Everything's been done. But now the question is, do I want to accept that? I did not accept that with Ultra Necrozma. I went into the PC, I grabbed Pokemon, I strategized, and I beat Ultra Necrozma. So now the question is, do I beat Terrapagos? Um, I did not Nuzlocke Arceus, Legends Arceus, so I guess I never officially gave up on that one. But if I had run into Volo and I lost with a Nuzlocke team, I certainly wouldn't have given up. I would have come back and fought for some more. All right, well... This is a tough one. I I need to strategize, and now I need to decide. I mean, the Pokemon that are gone are gone. So there's no tricks. There's no topsy-turvies here. I got to see what I got, and I got to go forward with a mindful evaluation. But that said, humble and proud, I am Nito Marquis, and I am thankful for you watching. I think what I'm going to do is take a look at what I can do to this thing. I mean, it, the raid battle makes it very difficult. I have no idea what's going on with the types, but it seems like he's always at a type advantage. So, it, yeah, I mean, what am I supposed to even do? <laughs> it's, I'm going to have to use items. I'm going to have to use reflex and light screens, and I'm 1v1 against this thing. Literally, um, Carmine is useless. So I guess I will see. I will let you know what happens. I hope you enjoyed the ride up to this moment because this one looks brutal. I'm not so sure I'm going to make it out on the other end. We'll see. I said the same thing about Ultra Necrozma, and I did not fall. I beat Ultra Necrozma, and I continued on, and I won the Nuzlocke. So the question is, do I do it here? I'll let you know. Catch you later.